looks like the tables have turned. Yeah. That was an incredible catch. Welcome to Rhyme City. A celebration of the harmony between humans and Pokemon. Tim, your dad was a legend in this precinct. If you were anything like your dad... I'm not. I remember. You wanted to be a Pokemon trainer when you were young. Yeah, that didn't really work out. Someone there? Whoever you are, I know how to use this. Oh, jeez. Here we go. I know. You can't understand me. Yeah. Pika, pika, pika. He's adorable. You're adorable. They can't understand me, kid. Can no one else hear him? I don't need a Pokemon. Period. And what about a world-class detective? Because if you want to find your pops, I'm your best bet. We're gonna do this, you and me. There's magic that brought us together, and that magic is called hope. Listen up, we got ways to make you talk, or mine. Yeah. So tell us what we wanna know. Pipe, yes, okay, I can. Shoving, pushing. My problem is that I push people away and then hate them for leaving. He's saying you can shove it. What? I can shove it? Okay, that's it. No, we're switching roles. I'm bad cop. You're good cop. No, 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 no we're not cops. Oh! In my head, I saw that differently. Thank you, Spider-Man. That was so good. Hey, sorry I'm late. Happy. You look nice. Thank you, you too. Thank you. New dress? Yes, it is. How'd you know? <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? Planning a trip? Mm-hmm. Going to Europe. It's a school trip. He's like Iron Man and Thor rolled into one. He's no Spider-Man. What is it with you and Spider-Man? What, he looks out for the neighborhood, has a dope suit, and I really respect him. Sup, dickwad? The world as we know it ended in 2018. The war between the Earth and the Moon Nazis had led to all-out nuclear destruction. The last survivors of the human race made their refuge on the dark side of the Moon. The exiled remnants of humankind made their new home in the former Nazi base. The Moon Führer? <laughs> well, I hope it's not what I think. <laughs> You both know the truth. The moon is not going to be here for long. We are going to head to the center of the earth, which is apparently hollow, and hopefully find the one thing that can save my mom and basically the whole of mankind. Okay, cool. Can I go? Main engines running at full capacity. Coffee machine is online. Holy Grail, huh? Oh, oh. You think you can fix me? Jean, you are not 
broken. The mind is a fragile thing. It takes only the slightest tap to tip it in the wrong direction. This is the end. Charles, what did you do? I had to keep her stable. I protected her. From the truth? There's another word for that. I came looking for answers. You feel like you don't belong here. You don't. They can't begin to comprehend what you are. She's changing. And what? You didn't come here looking for answers. You came here looking for permission. Jean. She's all rage. Pain. And it's all coming out at once. Jean lost control, but she's still our friend. This is your fault, Charles. The world is on the brink. I'm sorry. I didn't stop it sooner. You're always sorry, Charles. And there's always a speech. And nobody cares. There's still hope. Don't do this. The right to fear me. I've seen evil. And I'm looking at it now. Does it bother you that I'm not completely human? You are the most human person I have ever met. Didn't I tell you to be home before dark? I just lost track of time. A leader, you have to be responsible. You are someone very special. Hey, kid. Not just a teenage girl. Hey, what's your problem? You can't remember. What do you mean? Doc found you in the scrapyard. So you must be from up there. And I'm just an insignificant girl. That's what they want you to think. I'm not your daughter. I don't know what I am. I do. You have the most advanced weapon ever. But that's just a shell. It's not bad or good. That part's up to you. I do not stand by in the presence of evil. She's threatening the natural order of things. Tonight is not a game. It is a hunt. I need you to destroy a girl called Alita. You made the biggest mistake of your life. And what's that? Underestimating who I am. Hang on.